Hello, Moi. Uh, we finished your machine, and uh, today let me show you some basic uh, information about uh, how to install it and how to operate this machine. First, uh, let me show you some details of, of the machine. Uh, in this machine, we use the Syntec controller uh, with uh, one kilowatt servo, absolutely servo, Syntec. And also, uh, this machine has one uh, 12 kilowatt ATC spindle and uh, one uh, saw blade. For this saw blade, the maximum diameter is 300 millimeters. So this saw blade can cut uh, at 9 degree or 0 degree and also uh, the other degrees. Uh, and for this machine, we, as you required, we put two rulers uh, for this machine. And the distance between these two rulers is 800 millimeter because the saw blade need to rotate. Uh, for the tool magazine, we use the uh, 12 position linear tool, tool magazine. And also this machine equipped with automatic unloading devices. So after finish machine, this machine can un automatically load unloading the panels to the conveyor belt. Uh, and here it's uh, the tool sensor. This tool sensor is so big; it's uh, 100 millimeter. So sometimes you can use the big tools. And here, there is one uh, button box, which we can, after we put the panels, we can press start button to, um, to start the program. No need to go to the convey, uh, control panels. And here also the pause buttons, and this one is the uh, side uh, cylinders. This is the emergency stop button. Uh, as you required, the working size uh, of the machine is uh, 2.1 meters by 3 meters. Uh, and also it's equipped with uh, two vacuum pump, German and Baker. And also we have uh, two inlet for each one for one vacuum pump. And now we will, uh, I will show you the absolutely uh, position for the machine, mechanical position. Because uh, during the transportation, we need to uh, remove the gan gantry. So for Y axis, it will lost the positions. So we need to reset it. And uh, I need to show you how to reset it after you install the gantry. This is a mechanical home position for all X, Y, Z axis. And uh, as you can see, when we set the Y axis, we just need to use the uh, rulers to measure from the from the bearing block and to the end of the linear it's uh, 20 millimeter it's 20 millimeter so after you get the machine you just push the machine y axis to be this position 20 millimeter then you go back to the uh, controller and uh, press system admin F8 then press parameter F3 then you press F7 serial turning then you need to input the password the password is 520 after that you press F1 normal axis 
and then you press F7, set absolute home. So when you first install the machine, when you get the machine, this one will be yellow, will be red. So we need to set it. The Y axis and the A axis will be red. So you just move the press Y axis and choose home button. Press Y axis. Then you press the F1, search or set home. After that, we finish setting. Then you you choose E axis and also set the position. After that, uh, the machine will be ready for use. For X axis position, it's uh, we use the ruler and uh, measure like this. It's uh, from this block and to the end of the linear linear bearing is a. Uh, 27 millimeter. This is the X position, and for Y, uh, Z axis position is uh, from the from the top, from this bearing to the top. It's uh, 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter. But for the axis and Z axis, the position will not change during the transportation. So, uh, after when you use the machine, if your X axis and Y axis lost the position, you just uh, find uh, the distance and uh, set the absolutely home. After that, all the parameter will not be, no need to change. You can use the machine automatically. Now, well, I will let me show you how to measure the tools. First, we press uh, auto mode and then press uh, F3 offset setting and then we press F3 tool tip measure. Here it's a uh, manual for measure tools and uh, the mode is 3, it's uh, no need to change. All this parameters no need to change. What we change, we just uh, change this parameter. Tool number, for, for example, now we measure T1. So we input one, then we press start. F1, start. So T1 will touch the tool sensor and measure it. After that, let we measure T3. So I input 3 and press F1, start button. The machine will first go to put T1 back and pick up T3, then measure it. After we measure the tool, we need to set one parameter. It's a uh, delta Z. So we will move uh, X and Y axis We can now we can switch on the vacuum pump and uh, vacuum suction to hold the MDF sheet. Then we choose MPG. Then we choose MPG. Uh, this walking mode is uh, we control. We move the machine by the hand wheel. 
So first we choose the any axis x or, or y or z. So we choose x axis to move it. Then we choose y axis to move correct position. Then we move the axis down to let the two T3 to touch the uh, sacrifice MDF sheet. The, but you must be careful when you set the delta Z first you need to measure this tool after that you move this tool to touch the MDF sheet we must uh, make sure it's the same tools so now I move the tool to touch the MDF sheet surface But them like this, then we go back to the controller. Offset, tool tip measure. Then we press F3, Z delta Z button. After we press this button, the value will be set here. Uh, G54, P1, and Z axis. This distance is the distance be between uh, sacrifice MDF sheet and uh, tool sensor. So after you change, uh, after you change uh, uh, big panels uh, MDF sheet, you also need to ch set these values. It means uh, the thickness of the sacrifice MDF sheet changes we need to set these values. Otherwise, no need to set. Okay. About uh, the, the how, how to set the working uh, orange for this machine. So we just uh, move the, we just uh, move the tool to the corner, to the cylinder corner. Like this, we press main button and uh, we press the side pin and uh, uh, front pin so we, we just uh, move the the tool we move the tool center to this point to set it okay. the value will be set here press f3 offset setting here First, we, we move to the corner. For example, we move to the, to the position. For example, here. So we move first. We move x axis and y axis to the position. Then we press here and go go offset setting. Then we move. We press x axis. Then we press the F four. The machine will automatically setting this value to be here and also for the y-axis it's the same for the axis this value is uh, like we I explained before this is the delta z value so no need to set and the next uh, we are going to uh, copy the nc file into the controller 
So first we press uh, plug the USB to the controller. Then we press F2 program. F8 file manager. Then F4 file transfer. Then F1 file import. For example, we choose, uh, we press one. For example, we choose one NC file here. Then we press copy. The, mich the, the file will be copied inside in the controller. After we control the, uh, soft, uh, the NC file, we have two ways to run it. First one, we can press program, and then we press F8 file manager. Then we choose the file which we, we need to run, and then we press F5 execute. So now, if we press circle, uh, we press auto mode, and then we press circle start button the machine will run in the file. The other way, we can, if we have many files to, to load to the controller, so we can use the operator panel, F1. Then we press F3, file manager. Then we can choose the file. Import the file, choose all the files you, you need. Then you press F1 output list. The file will be also loading here. Uh, if you choose this way, the machine, when you press the call start button, the machine will run this file one by one. Okay, now let's we try to uh, start this, this program. And uh, we this is a switch. Uh, this is a dust collector switch. So first we switch on the dust collectors. Then we press choose auto mode. And, uh, and then 